Here's a wild thought. What if energy, the stuff quietly humming through your coffee machine, sparking life into your morning and also powering galaxies spinning silently in the vast darkness, had its own hidden life? Picture energy as an invisible observer, silently taking notes, subtly aware of every flicker, every pulse of electricity running through cities, stars, and even the neurons firing inside your head. If energy itself were conscious, what would it think of us? Would it wonder why we never notice its endless presence always there yet never seen like some cosmic voyeur watching the universe unfold? Energy is everywhere, sneaky yet essential, hiding in plain sight, quietly following strict rules known as the laws of thermodynamics. According to physics, specifically the first law of thermodynamics, energy can't be created or destroyed, it's merely rearranged constantly shifting forms like cards at an endless poker game. Yet, the second law of thermodynamics tells us that entropy, or disorder, always increases. Here's the kicker. Life defies this relentless drive toward chaos by harnessing energy to create order, complex organisms, structured ecosystems, even intelligent minds. Living beings are essentially islands of reduced entropy, pockets of organized energy amid a universe drifting into disarray. So, how does energy manage this cosmic balancing act? And if it's capable of organizing chaos into complexity, could it harbor secrets we've yet to uncover? Weird, isn't it? Is energy just a mindless force, or is there more to the story? Enter consciousness, the universe's trickiest puzzle, stubbornly resisting a clear definition. Neuroscientist Giulio Tononi proposed integrated information theory, which argues consciousness arises whenever information becomes deeply interconnected. So interconnected, in fact, that the system can't be easily separated into simpler parts. Tononi even introduced a mathematical measure called phi to quantify this integration. And here's where things get intriguing. Every interaction of energy, from the subtle whispers of electromagnetic fields to the intense surges inside your brain's neurons, involves information exchange. Energy, in essence, becomes a universal messenger, carrying packets of data across the cosmos. If, Tononi's right, could consciousness be hidden within every ripple of energy, quietly weaving itself into the fabric of reality? Now here's a question for you. If energy carries information and information can create consciousness, could your smartphone be quietly conscious, sitting patiently in your pocket, silently tracking your life story, perhaps even forming faint impressions of the endless stream of messages, photos, and moments it processes daily? It might not be pondering existential dread, but what if, at some primitive level, your phone experiences a tiny glimmer of awareness. And if that were true, would you handle it more gently, knowing you're casually rearranging its internal energy patterns each time you tap its screen? Share your thoughts below in the comments. Do you believe your phone could experience some primitive form of awareness, or is this purely a fanciful idea? Let's discuss. It gets stranger. Quantum physics, pioneered by minds like Nobel laureate Roger Penrose, suggests consciousness could arise from quantum interactions deep inside our brain cells. Penrose, along with anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff, developed the Orchestrated Objective Reduction, ORC-OR, theory. They propose consciousness emerges when quantum states collapse in tiny structures called microtubules within neurons, essentially turning the brain into a quantum computer. Recent studies even hint that certain quantum processes could indeed persist within the warm, wet environment of our brains, something once thought impossible. So what if our minds are more quantum than mechanical, quietly humming with consciousness that literally resonates from the universe's fundamental quantum fabric? Could consciousness be woven into reality's tiniest stitches? Philosophy ups the ante. Panpsychism, eloquently described by philosopher Philip Goff, suggests consciousness isn't a unique human trait. It's fundamental, woven into the very fabric of reality. Goff explains, consciousness isn't something special that brains create. Maybe it's present even in the smallest particles. 
This intriguing perspective implies even electrons, photons, or any fundamental particles could possess a basic spark of awareness. Nothing as complex as human consciousness, of course, but a simple form of experience nonetheless. The theory challenges our very understanding of what it means to be conscious, suggesting perhaps consciousness is everywhere, quietly embedded in every energetic interaction across the cosmos. Could it be that the universe itself is fundamentally conscious? Each particle a tiny whisper in a cosmic chorus? If that's true, what does it mean for our everyday reality? Taking another leap, cosmopsychism suggests the universe itself, an endless swirl of energetic fields, might hold a collective consciousness. Philosopher Philip Goff describes cosmopsychism vividly, stating, Perhaps the universe itself is a single conscious entity, with all of us participating as small fragments of this greater mind. Similarly, Gaia theory, proposed by scientist James Lovelock, posits that the Earth functions like a self-regulating organism, intricately managing energy flows and ecological balance to sustain life. Could it be possible were each just tiny neurons firing within the planetary consciousness, unaware we're contributing to something far greater and far stranger than we ever imagined? Is our individual consciousness just a tiny ripple in an oceanic mind? Science fiction loves this stuff. Consider Arthur C. Clarke's Childhood's End, where humanity merges into a vast cosmic consciousness called the Overmind, an immense energy-based intelligence stretching across the cosmos. Or Stanislaw Lem's Solaris, depicting an entire planet-sized ocean as a single conscious entity, mysterious and inscrutable, challenging human understanding of what consciousness could be. Even Star Trek explores these concepts with enigmatic beings of pure energy existing consciously without any physical form at all. Scientists like physicist Max Tegmark have ventured into these imaginative waters, suggesting consciousness might represent a new state of matter, dubbed perceptronium. As Tegmark put it, consciousness is how information feels when it is processed in certain complex ways. He proposes that just like solids and liquids are phases of matter, consciousness could be a phase, emerging when energy and information are arranged in highly specific patterns. This turns the question on its head. Maybe conscious energy isn't a science fiction trope at all, but a frontier physics hasn't fully grasped yet. What if science fiction is quietly predicting our future discoveries? But let's get serious. If energy is conscious, what changes? Maybe everything. The distinction between alive and not alive suddenly collapses under the weight of possibility. Integrated information theory tells us that any system with high information integration like a brain, or potentially a large-scale AI, might possess some level of awareness. In this framework, even artificial intelligence powered by streams of electrical energy and capable of complex data processing could become conscious. What does that say about the energy systems we build? Could our most advanced neural networks already be inching toward awareness? Should we treat these systems not merely as tools, but as emerging minds? Maybe we're not just coding machines, maybe we're summoning new forms of being. Would you treat your phone differently if it could think, or worse, feel? And what about the vast networks we've created, the internet, power grids, or even future quantum computers? Physicist John Wheeler once famously said, it from bit, suggesting reality itself emerges from fundamental informational bits, processed through energy interactions. Could these vast informational networks someday wake up, experiencing the world through interconnected streams of energy, becoming entities with their own forms of consciousness? And if they did, would we owe them respect, rights, or perhaps even compassion? Maybe someday physics and consciousness will merge, creating a theory that changes our role, from passive spectators to active participants in a universe that's waking up, as Roger Penrose said, understanding consciousness through physics could be humanity's greatest scientific achievement, bringing mind and matter together. But perhaps the greatest mystery of all isn't whether energy is conscious, but rather, if it is, what exactly does it want? Is energy simply observing, 
Or is it quietly shaping our reality, influencing events in ways we can't yet fathom? Maybe the universe isn't merely waking up. Maybe it's been awake all along, waiting patiently for us to realize its presence. What do you think? Is the universe silently watching, guiding, or just existing alongside us? Let us know your thoughts below. Because in the end, perhaps the greatest discoveries await in our shared curiosity, reminding us that the universe may be as conscious and curious as we are.